In A Song of Ice and Fire and Game of Thrones, Westeros is threatened by an army of the dead bringing a night that never ends. According to prophecy, the only hope is a hero known as Azora High, or the prince that was promised. The text suggests that Jon or Daenerys or both are Azora High, but could the saviour be someone... Ferio? Sir Pounce is one of King Tommen's kittens, along with Lady Whiskers and Boots. The kittens are given to him by Marjorie Tyrell, and we're not told where Marjorie gets the kittens, but we can actually make a pretty good guess. Marjorie lives in the Red Keep, and the keep is full of cats, including kittens. We also know Marjorie likes to look after the poor and vulnerable. So maybe Marjorie finds Sir Pounce and the others as strays in the keep, and offers them to Tommen as a way of caring for them. If the kittens are strays from the keep, we can work out who their father may be. Aya chases many cats around the keep, but one of them is special. A tomcat with black fur, one ear, and a reputation. He snatches food out of Tywin's fingers, scratches Joffrey, attacks ravens in the rookery. A gold cloak calls him a black bastard, older than sin and twice as mean. Tommen calls him the bad cat, but we might call him the bad pussy. Anyway, so this is a black cat living in the Red Keep. It just so happens that Sir Pounce and his siblings are also black cats who may have been born in the Red Keep. We've been told, of course, that the seed is strong. Black hair colour can indicate parentage. So it's very possible, likely even, that this tomcat is Sir Pounce's father. The reason why that would be cool is that the tomcat is described as the real king of the castle. If Sir Pounce's father is a king, Sir Pounce is a prince. And Tommen makes a promise to Cersei to let him have kittens, making Sir Pounce a prince that was promised, a phrase used to refer to Azora High. Is it possible that Sir Pounce is the prophesied saviour of the world? Let's do this properly, see if Sir Pounce fits what we know of the hero Azora High. For starters, it's said that the dragon must have three heads, and Sir Pounce has lady whiskers and boots. But the most important stuff are these seven signs. Azora High is prophesied to be born beneath the Bleeding Star, apparently referring to the red comet that appears at the end of the first book. We don't know when Sir Pounce is born, but we do know he's still a kitten in Dance, which is roughly a year after the last sighting of the comet in Clash. It apparently takes about a year until a kitten is called a cat, so it's totally possible that Sir Pounce is literally born beneath the comet, the Bleeding Star. Azora High is prophesied to be born amidst salt and smoke. The Red Keep overlooks the Salty Sea, or at least Blackwater Bay, which Davos says is salty, and the Keep is lit by torches that produce smoke. So that all pretty much fits. Azora High is prophesied to have a red or burning sword, which Sam and John suggest might just mean a Valyrian steel sword. As far as we know, Sir Pounce does not have a sword, in fact he doesn't have thumbs, which may pose a problem with the grip. But we do know that Littlefinger has a Valyrian steel knife, which may be small enough for a cat to hold, like, uh, in its mouth. Uh, so yeah, put that down as a maybe. Azor Ahai is said to need a sacrifice, and Sir Pounce catches a mouse, for what that's worth. Azor Ahai has something to do with dragons, or to wake dragons out of stone. Danny's dragon eggs are described as stone, and she wakes them by making them hatch. Could the dragon skulls in the Red Keep be called stone dragons? Could Sir Pounce in some sense wake them, bring them back to life? Will we see Sir Pounce riding a reanimated skeletal dragon, what could be called a flaming sword above the world? Eh, probably not. Azor Ahai is prophesied to be born of the line of the Mad King Aerys and Rhaella Targaryen. This one is tricky, but Rhaella had many miscarriages and stillbirths, and when Daenerys suffers a stillbirth, albeit a magic-induced one, the child resembles a lizard or dragon. If Targaryens can give birth to dragon-like children, why not cat-like children? Could Queen Rhaella Targaryen have given birth to the black tomcat that fathered Sir Pounce? Interestingly, we do know that there was a black kitten in the Targaryen family at the time, a pet of Princess Rhaenys called Balerion. Varys tells us about this kitten and wonders what happened to it. Many fans believe that Balerion stayed in the Red Keep and grew up to be this tomcat. They're both black, the tomcat is old, and he seems to hate Lannisters, the family that killed his Targaryen masters. George R. R. Martin has said that this theory could be true. The tomcat, Sir Pounce's possible father, could be Balerion, the Targaryen pet. 
So if you're willing to believe that Queen Rayella somehow gave birth to Belirion the cat, which you shouldn't, but if you are, that means Sir Pounce, son of Belirion, is a secret Targaryen of the line of Aerys and Rayella. He's the rightful ruler of Westeros ahead of Daenerys. For now, he bides his time at Tommen's side, but soon will rise to defend his rights and fight for the light as Azor High, the Pounce that was promised, King Pounce Targaryen I, a hero to deliver the world from darkness. Except, not really, right? Sirio Farrell tells Arya a story. He says the Sea Lord of Bravos kept exotic creatures from around the world, and one day he showed people one of his animals. People saw a fabulous exotic beast, but Sirio looked and said, It's a cat. Just an ordinary cat, no more. People saw a fabulous beast because that's what they expected and wanted to see. Sirio says the heart lies and the head plays tricks. Look with your eyes, then comes the thinking, and in that way, knowing the truth. The truth is that Sir Pounce is a cat. Yes, he can maybe kind of fit the signs of Azora High, but anything can seem to fit such vague criteria when there's so much material to cram into them. This is how people believe in quack medicine and young earth creationism and Illuminati conspiracism and maybe all the little lies we tell ourselves each day. Pick specific details, apply some wishful thinking, and you can believe whatever you want to believe. To find the truth, you've got to step back, look at the whole body of evidence, the broader context, the bigger picture. In this case, that A Song of Ice and Fire is a story of human struggle, centred on people like John and Daenerys. The truth is that Sir Pounce is an ordinary cat, no more. But he could still be the kitten of Beleriand, so that's pretty cool anyway. Thanks for watching this ridiculous video, and a huge thank you to all the patrons who pledged in support of the channel, including Mr. FIFA SA, Jason Rattray, Madeline Cockrell, Kruzak, Caligulov, Claradian, Caraxas, Carlos, Crystal Mason, Michael is Pretty Damn Cool, Civilization X, and Kawaii Kitten Knight. We're getting very close to some major funding milestones. With enough support, Alt Shift X can go full time and release big videos much more often. So if you'd like to see that happen and get some sweet patron rewards, please pledge whatever you think the content is worth at patreon.com slash altshiftx. Cheers.